And I'm joined now by Katarina de Albuquerque. She is the CEO of Sanitation and Water for All. That's a global partnership of governments, donors, civil society that working together to prevent water crises like the one we just saw there in Nigeria. She joins me tonight from New York, where she attended the UN Water Conference. Katarina, it's good to have you with us. You know, the numbers are not looking good. We're talking about 2 billion people on the planet don't have access to, um, to safe drinking water. Um, even more don't have access to basic sanitation. Um, why hasn't there been more progress with something that seems so basic and essential? And good, good afternoon here from New York. The conference is not yet over, uh, and we are still uh, waiting to see the summary uh, uh, of the conference. Uh, but why there hasn't been more progress? Uh, because there has not been sufficient political will uh, for water and sanitation in the world. Um, if we compare the number of heads of state and heads of government that attended this conference with, for example, the latest Oceans Conference that took place less than one year ago, you see in that conference we had 24 heads of state and government. Here we had six. Is water and sanitation or are these topics being prioritized at the highest level inside national governments? We don't think so. So mm. we think we need more political will, we need more ambition, we need more action, we need, hence, more money, and we also need accountability to make sure that any commitments made um, have implications, are followed up to, and there are consequences in case, in case they are not met. Yeah, and the consequences, if they aren't met, can be life or death for some people. I know that you have said that um, women and girls are the ones who are most likely to die due to a lack of access to water and sanitation. I mean, why is that? They are more likely to die. They are more likely to miss school. They are more likely uh, to be raped. They are more likely to miss uh, uh, to miss uh, work. And why? Because they are normally the ones inside the household who, who are responsible for managing the water and walking long distances even to unsafe places to mm -hmm. catch the water. Um, they are raped. I met with women who who, who told me this, uh, this type of stories. Um, when they are having their periods, uh, mm -hmm. they don't go to work. They don't go to school because they cannot afford menstrual hygiene products. So they are the one, if they are sick people in the, in the house because of waterborne diseases, they are the ones who take care of the sick people. So water or lack of water and sanitation has this massive impact on gender equality. So yeah. without solving the water crisis, we will never solve the gender equality crisis, mm. the climate crisis, and, and the poverty crisis, and many other crises the world is facing. Well, it's good that you mentioned that this um, conference is still going on. We want you to come back and talk with us when it is over. Unfortunately, we're out of time now. Katarina de Albuquerque, we appreciate your time and your insights, and good luck in New York. Thank you so much.